What's up guys, it's time to talk about the biggest camera upgrade of the Galaxy S series in generations. With the Galaxy S11, Samsung is looking to reborn the camera. It's said to be the most significant upgrade since the Galaxy S7 days, which is pretty old. So far we know that the Galaxy S11 could have smaller bezels compared to the S10 family, a larger fingerprint scanner, a better and smaller punch hole implementation towards the middle, 90Hz or 120Hz OLED panel. All of that sounds nice but camera is going to be the absolute deciding factor. But we're heard in the leaks and rumors that Samsung is working on a 108 megapixel sensor for the S11 family and today's leak further confirms that rumor. So I assume said that the Galaxy S11 has a high probability of using a new 108 megapixel sensor. Now in case you don't know, Samsung not only made the 64 MP sensor, but they also made the 108 megapixel sensor that is currently inside some of Xiaomi devices. Their recent work confirms that this is their game plan. They're gonna bring the megapixel madness with the S11 family, that's what they were working on. And no, it's not going to be the same sensor used with the Xiaomi devices. Obviously Samsung won't be using the same thing as Xiaomi is using on their phone. They obviously have something exclusive, something better, something flagship level just for the S11. So it's not just going to be a 100 megapixel sensor, it's going to be a new and a bigger sensor compared to what they have already produced. Now personally I've used the 64 MP sensor from Samsung on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 and I have to say on that mid-range phone I can see the huge difference of sharpness and that's just the 64 MP sensor. Imagine what the 100 megapixel camera sensor can do. The downside to this is that the size of the images will go massive. You can expect from 30 to 40 MB size per image image, maybe even more than that, but Samsung has lots of internal memory options. They already ship 128 GB as the default option, and we also have the external storage, so I don't think that will be a problem. So based on what I've used, I definitely want a 108 megapixel sensor on the S11. This is something that will really blow the competition away, at least when we talk about sharpness. If you are someone who zoom in on the details on Instagram pictures, I think Samsung is definitely making a phone for you. Along with the brand new 108 megapixel sensor, Samsung is also working on the motion sensor for S11. The term motion isocell was mentioned and this is obviously a motion sensor that will capture all the movement. So something what we have seen with the Pixel can happen with the Galaxy S11 as well. The S11 will be the last Samsung phone that has custom CPU cores. Samsung has announced that they are shutting down the custom CPU project at their Austin R&D center. In the future, Samsung will use ARM design. This is the move for the S12 because Samsung is having some big changes. They're also using the AMD GPU. The first time we're going to see an AMD powered Galaxy S flagship phone. It's going to happen in 2021. Yeah, currently Exynos 990 is the last custom core chip. It will be powering the S11, most likely Galaxy Note 11, and the Galaxy Fold second generation. Now, speaking of generations, Samsung had a great mid range year in 2019. The Galaxy A series has been pretty good, but next year, it will get even better. The A51 got leaked. It's going to be one of the model in the 10 models that they're going to release in the Galaxy A lineup, which is crazy. But that's just Samsung. That's how they roll. So the leak shows quad camera setup. This year it was triple camera party, but next year it's going to be quad camera party for all the Samsung mid range devices. The setup could be a 32 or 64 MP main sensor with 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, 12 megapixel zoom, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. Once again, Samsung Galaxy A lineup will be bigger than ever. We'll see devices from A11 all the way up to A91. Not to mention Samsung's also working on the S10 Lite and the Note 10 Lite. They are scheduled for the end of this year so I'm excited to see more development on that. Things are looking very exciting. We could even see a mid-range Samsung phone with a 90Hz refresh rate. Who knows? But yeah, that's all we have on the latest Samsung school. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you think about having a 100 megapixel camera power on the S11 flagship camera. Let me know your honest thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.